Welcome. In the other previous tutorials, we have gone over how to use layers, how to create black and, a black and white photo and pull the color through the black and white photo using layers, the paintbrush, and the free select tool. In this tutorial, we will use the scissor select tool. Just to show you, this is what the original photo was. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull through the red color of this one right here. All right. Let's grab that scissor select tool. And we're going to, I like to zoom in on what I'm going to work on. Zoom right in on that. Now what I like about the scissor select tool is it automatically detects the edges of whatever it is you're trying to outline. All you have to do is left click along the edge that you want it to detect. It detects the edge and tries to draw the line as best it can. Right here it drew a pretty straight line and I want it a little more curved. How I can do that is I can, whoa, there we go, sorry about that. What I can do is move this, go back, and move this circle right in the middle there and notice how it gave it a little better shape. All of these individual circles or intersection points are all movable so that you can play with them to make the outline more specific to what you want your result to be. Now, once I'm almost done, you'll notice that I have a plus sign right to the right of my cursor and above the scissors, but when I move it over the very first dot that I created, it creates two loops, two circles that intersect. When I when you see the two circles that intersect and you're you're ready to complete your outline, go ahead and left click on that first dot and then it completes it. Now, so that we can color it in with our painting tool, you have to hit enter. And there we see the marching ants. Now we are ready to color it in using our paintbrush. Go ahead and come on over to your paintbrush over here. Click on it. I come, my paintbrush is docked on this tab here, so I'll come down here. If yours is floating, that's okay. You can do the same thing. I'm going to select the paint circle, paintbrush circle that I want with the scale that I want, and then I can start coloring it in. Now that doesn't look correct, does it? It does not. What I'm going to do is Control Z. If you experience that, that's okay. What that means is you just had the wrong thing selected over here in layers. Now if yours went red, don't worry about this, but this will probably happen in the future. Come over to layers, if it, yours did go black, and make sure that you click on the mask that we created of the background copy, of your black and white copy. So if you left, make sure that's left clicked. Now go back to your paintbrush and click. You'll notice, voila, there it is. I kind of threw you for a loop there, but I wanted to show you what happens sometimes, the, what the difference is between selecting your black and white copy and your mask copy. If you select your black and white copy, what it's going to do is create that black effect that we just saw. However, you want to make sure your, your mask layer is selected and that allows us to pull through the correct color that we desire. Excellent. Now, what we can do is, once again, to get rid of the marching ants, you can go up into the menu bar and hit deselect all. Uh, the shortcut that I like to use, use is Control shift and a and that unselects it. Now let's see what we've created. Go ahead and zoom out. And voila! You have used the scissors to intelligently create a border around what you wanted to, what color you wanted to pull through. We created the circle, we hit enter to create the marching ants if you 
want to call them that, that's what I like to call them, so that we can paint it in or pull the color through and then you deselect all when you are complete. Thank you.